Hello everyone. Um, I am finally back again. I've been away for a little while. Been uh, procrastinating. Whoops, I probably pronounced that wrongly, but doesn't matter. Um, been playing a little bit of Feed the Beast and doing vanilla Minecraft and all that. Um, so I haven't been busy making videos much recently. Um, but until I got a message recently, um, someone asking me to do something on uh, digging out shapes on the ground, and he wanted to dig out uh, a cylinder on the ground. Um, and asked me if I could do a video on that, on how to do that. And I thought that was a pretty cool idea. It seems very interesting and has a little bit more of a mathematical side to it. Um, so I thought that would be interesting to do. So I'm going to... Um, this episode is not going to be continuing the uh, production line videos I've been doing. Um, as you can see, though, I have made a bit of progress with uh, kind of building a roof and all that. Uh, and I put a big uh, advanced computer and advanced screen here. So eventually I want to have like a visual representation of what what's in stock and all that and you can um, maybe make this interactive because you can now click on screen stuff, it's all pretty cool. Um, but I'll get to that eventually. Um, I was thinking of ways to transport the items from the, the raw items over there to the crafting turtle over here. Um, probably just going to use another turtle to do that, so I'm going to have this little butler guy uh, going back and forth delivering the items to the to the crafting turtle. Um, someone also suggested ender chests. Now I'm not sure whether um, turtles can actually place things in ender chests. If it's possible I'll use ender chests because that'll make things much easier and I, have to, I can just leave out this guy completely but I still have to test that. Um, so I'll try that out as well. But for now um, we're going to do something completely different. Um, I dug a little hole over here. Uh, let's get down here. There we go. Um, so this guy here, this is going to be um, the turtle that's going to be digging our shape on the ground. Um, in this case, I'm going to start off with a cylinder, because that's what the guy who messaged me uh, asked for. And uh, But it also seems interesting to me to make like a sphere on the ground, like a massive ball, um, which is also a little bit harder than a cylinder, so that would be interesting. Um, so to give you an idea of what we're doing... Oh, look, here's the message. Um, Oops. So this is a cylinder. It has a, a radius, which is um, half or the distance from the center of the circle to the edge, uh, and a height. Um, so what we're going to be doing is um, giving the turtle these two things, um, starting him off, and he'll dig a cylinder from top to bottom, basically. Now, how to do that? Um, one of the most important parts is um, digging or making a circle shape, which is, if you're doing it manually, a pain in the balls in Minecraft. Um, but with a turtle it would be much easier because you can calculate um, at what point you're within the circle and what you're not. So you know based on the radius and your coordinates um, relative to the center, you know whether you're within the circle or not and thereby you know whether you should be digging that block out or not. So that's um, going to be the start of this program is digging out this ring around here and then the rest on the middle can you can all just dig out uh, with a fairly easily, uh, easy method. Um, but we're going to start off with uh, digging out the, the outer rings so that we know um, what part we have to dig out, basically. Um, so figuring that out is the, is the trickiest part. And to do that, we're going to need uh, Pythagoras, um, which is a little bit like this, because we're going to know our x and z coordinate um, relative to the center. But we need to know um, whether that distance whether what distance we are from the center uh, with those two. And basically, if you've probably had this in school, and if you haven't had this in school, you're probably fairly young, and uh, you'll get it eventually. Um, so if you have your, let's say this is your z-coordinate here, represented by A, and your x-coordinate here is represented by B. Um, I'll make this a bit bigger. Um, to calculate C, which is your distance um, from, if this is the center here, this is zero, your distance C is calculated by A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared, um, which basically means C is equal to the square root of A squared plus B squared, but we'll get to that in a minute. So that's uh, basically what we're going to be doing. Um, so we'll go back to Minecraft. Um, so I made a file called dig cylinder here, which has got basically nothing in it at the moment. Um, and we'll be heading over to good old Notepad++ to be uh, editing our things. Now we're going to be stealing some stuff from the Quarry project. Um, basically I need 
my coordinates. Uh, so we'll dump those there, and they're going to be zero, zero, zero to start off with. Um, I'm going to need. Oh, I don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. I'll need this. I'll need my orientation. That's going to be useful. Um, I'm going to need these. Go, dump those there. Oh yeah, I know some of the text bigger because someone was complaining that the uh, the text was too small and they could hardly read it in the YouTube video. So I just made that a little bit bigger. So that's better for you. Um, we'll be needing that. I'll be needing left and right and forward, move up and I'll grab move down while I'm at it as well. And look, I need that. I need all of this stuff. Um, right, let's get rid of all these white spaces here. Oh god, this might take a while. Alright, never mind about that. Um, so we've got our right, left, move forward, um, move up and down functions. And add our look function. Uh, we won't be needing this part. That was the uh, the minimum y coordinate part. That's not really interesting right now. Um, let's see if there's any other things in here that aren't really interesting. I don't think so. This is all fine. Okay, that's all good. All right. So let's start off. Um, first thing we need to do is. Um, get from the middle, because we're going to start off our turtle in the middle whoa, that wasn't supposed to happen in the middle of the circle, so this is going to be zero, zero, zero right here um, and we need to go to the edge first now to do that um, we're going to write a simple function that basically has us go forward um, until we are at the edge, function go to edge let me just uh, Put this in the middle. So that's basically just going to be a while loop. Um, so while we are within radius, so here's something actually I'm going to have to. <laughs> One thing I put in here is radius is 15 for now. Um, height is equal to, let's make it 10 or something. Um, I'm putting in these in hard coded for now, but one thing I'll do later on is have it so that you um, input these when you start the program. So they won't be hard coded in here, but you'll be able to um, manually uh, put them in when you start the program. Um, but for now, I'll just do it like this. Um, so what we're going to need is our uh, function that determines the distance uh, between us or the turtle and the center of the circle uh, and then tell us whether we're still you know within the radius the maximum radius which is uh, 15 at the moment um, so let me think how are we going to do that see so yeah, we need this function so I'll go write this function then function within the radius and that there um, so how are we going to do that? Well, basically, uh, what I just said about uh, all of this, we're basically going to be doing this. We're going to be taking our x-coordinate, our z-coordinate, and uh, determining what the distance is uh, from us to the center, which will be c. Um, so let us do that. So we've got uh, x chord times x chord. So yeah, this is basically x chord squared. You could make an extra function for that, but I can't be bothered. Times z chord. Um, there was also a math. Uh, a math library, I believe. Um, which does this, I'm not quite sure, I'm going to just <laughs> ask the internet. Lua math uh, library. Doo -doo -doo. Let's see. Uh, math. 
F. No. Oops. Um, computer craft math. There we go. Yeah, so we go. <laughs> that worked. Uh oh, wait. Defined here. Okay. So we should have a, a square root function. Here we go. That's it. SQRT. Um, perfect. Uh, SQRT. Yep, I guessed it correctly. Okay. Now we need to check whether that is um, smaller than our radius, basically. And if that's the case, then it's true, and we're good to go. So that was fairly easy. Um, however, um, I actually want to um, stop before um, we dig, so I want to check whether the book in front of us is within the radius as well. Um, so I'll write another function for that, which is going to be called function forward within radius. Let's just spell that correctly. Um, so this is going to check whether the block in front of us is within the radius, which is going to be uh, return math.sqrt. Um, so now it's going to be a little bit more complicated because we're going to need... Um, we're going to need to fill in our x coordinate plus uh, what it would be if we go one step forward which is basically uh, what we're doing um, in the move forward function which is this so we're going to need to take these two things and we'll copy that over um, over here I'll call these x and z uh, I'll call them x next and z next here we go. And what I'll do is I'll have an x and z coordinate which we fill in in the within radius uh, uh, functions that we can uh, put in our next coordinates or any coordinate we want to check whether it's within the radius or make things a little bit easier. Um, x next, z next. Okay. I feel like I'm not explaining this as well as I should be. Okay, so we've got a within radius, um, which checks for a random coordinate, whether it is within the radius. And now we're going to check our forward within radius, which is going to check um, whether the block in front of us is within the radius. So we're going to take our x-coordinate and add whatever we would add if we go forward based on our orientation. Same for the z-coordinate. Um, fill that in in the within radius function, and it will return whether the block in front of us is within radius or not. So I hope that that's fairly understandable. Um, and that is that, I believe. So now we have this check. So now we can check um, whether the block in front of us is within radius. And if that's the case, we want to move forward. And that's it. And that will bring us all the way to the edge. Once we get to the edge, I want to look. Or well, actually, I don't even. Really know which direction we're going to be looking but I'm just going to go I'm going to go left there we go because I don't really know what direction we're starting and it doesn't really matter to be honest because um, we're going to get to the edge of the uh, the cylinder um, and then we're going to be looking outside the cylinder we want to be looking to the left so that we can start following this line around here so that will be the start um, I think I'll end the episode here. This is the the basic setup we've gotten ourselves to the edge of the uh, the circle. Um, next part, next episode will be actually digging out uh, the edge here. Um, so thanks for watching, and I will be recording the next episode right away probably. So uh, these sh uploads should be uh, up right after each other. So see you next episode.